Welcome back to Cardio News Channel 13 at noon. Hope your Tuesday has been going terrifically. Live HE Doppler radar is looking relatively quiet, but we do have some spotty showers in the mountains and also for portions along the south end of the I-25 corridor. Let's take you region to region now and show you where some of these showers are taking place. Now, just to the west of Aguilar, this particular cell producing light to moderate rain, moving off to the east, south and to the east of Trinidad, we do have this particular line of showers moving off to the northeast and to the east at around 10 miles an hour or so. Nothing strong to report to you right now, but keep in mind that in the mountains, we'll continue to see some of these showers developing, and these will track east along the I-25 corridor, especially later on this afternoon and into the early portions of the evening. Colorado Springs, Monument, Woodland Park, Pueblo right now looking dry, but of course, we'll keep you updated as some of those showers and storms get closer. Right now, temperatures are comfortable. It's a warm afternoon. But remember that possibility for some of those spotty storms. Not everyone will see storms. These will be very hit or miss. But just make sure you have the umbrella with you as you are out and about later. At 3 o'clock, those temperatures will sit in the 80s and the 90s for Colorado Springs and in Puebla. Later on this evening, right around 6 o'clock, those temperatures will sit in the upper 50s and upper 80s, respectively. You might want the light jacket as we go into the later portions of the evening. Evening hours, but up until that point, those temperatures will be pretty comfortable. Again, that umbrella is what you'll need, and might want to throw in the sunglasses too. Kind of that typical Colorado afternoon for you, at least during this time of year. Right now, temperatures sit in the 80s and the 90s for the I-25 corridor, or ranging the mid to upper 80s for the eastern plains, 60s and 70s for the mountains right now. What to expect throughout the rest of the day? Here's a glance at Skycast. 4 p.m. shows a few of these showers and storms along the Palmer Divide, Teller, and El Paso counties. These showers and storms continue, even in Impacting Pueblo County. We'll see these storms start to diminish a bit between 9 and midnight. The few stubborn storms want to hang on during portions of the overnight hours, but mostly staying dry. Over the next couple of days, we'll stay in the 80s. We'll keep in the chance for those afternoon showers and thunderstorms in Colorado Springs all the way through Saturday. Sunday, though, things start to look a bit drier. Temperatures will be on the cooler side. It will feel a lot like autumn. Monday and Tuesday, we keep the chance for those afternoon showers and thunderstorms. So if you're making those Labor Day weekend plans, I'd say Sunday is your best day for getting outside. Backing up to tomorrow, 94 degrees in Pueblo, anticipated with mostly cloudy skies. Afternoon showers and thunderstorms expected Thursday all the way through Saturday. Again, we do have that break on Sunday before those showers resume on Monday. In Canyon City, we'll reach 89 for tomorrow's high temperature with the 80s all the way through Sunday. We drop off those temperatures for the second half the weekend and start in the next work week. Uh, and I guess next work week is going to be Tuesday for many folks, just to clarify that. 77 tomorrow in Teller County with the 70s through Saturday, 60 Sunday and Monday. In Teller County, we do keep in the chance for those showers and thunderstorms each and every day, but things are looking particularly more widespread on Friday and Saturday. Now we will have a look at that evening forecast and so much more for you coming up next. All right. So plenty of time to plan ahead and get ready for uh, yeah, that's hopefully right. a nice evening. We still have time for that forecast. Forecast to change too. All right, thanks, Abby. Mm -hmm.